Hello, welcome to the Monday, June 6, 2022 edition of the Sands and its Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich, and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. On Friday, we got a diary by Xavier illustrating an interesting uh, trick how sometimes sandboxes may be evaded. Now, a lot of malware defenses these days do rely on sandboxes. So once a suspicious file is received, it's being copied to the sandbox and then executed and then some automatic mechanism is looking for behavior that indicates that a sample is malicious. But quite often as the sample is being executed, the name of the file is changed. This is done also in part to protect the sandbox from odd file names. But what Xavier found was that the samples that he looked into sometimes are actually checking if they still retained their original file name and if they can and find the original file name, they will refuse to run. It's a little bit like trying to detect if you're running in a virtual machine or in a debugger, but of course there are so many different sandbox technologies out there. Instead of uh, implementing detection techniques for every single one, this is a little bit more generic and apparently works quite well. And last week, I mentioned a new vulnerability in Atlassian's uh, Confluence uh, product. On Friday, Atlassian did release a patch and, uh, well, uh, not too early. There is also an exploit available. Rapid7 has a pretty good write-up with a lot of details that help create exploits. Also, uh, there have been multiple sightings already of uh, the exploit uh, being used against at least honeypots. I just looked as I started uh, recording and seeing a couple hits uh, with an exploit uh, against our honeypot network from Saturday. So time is running out to apply the patch. It's probably already a little bit too late. And if you find that exposed uh, Confluence server, then uh, treat it as already uh, compromised. Again, this vulnerability does allow a full command execution on the server CVE 2022 26134. And talking about these type of uh, developer uh, tools, uh, GitLab also released a critical uh, security uh, release. Now, the critical vulnerability here is an account takeover vulnerability. And this only affects uh, systems that uh, use uh, SAML for authentication. The vulnerability actually doesn't sound that bad to me. It allows any owner of a premium group to invite arbitrary users to their username and email and then change those users' email addresses uh, via SKIM, which stands for a system for cross-domain identity management and is only available in the premium plus version. So if you're running any of the lesser versions of GitLab, you are not affected at least by this critical vulnerability. Uh, There are a number of high and medium uh, vulnerability like like for example, a tool across site scripting vulnerabilities. So apply the patch, but I would first take care of Confluence. And NCC Group released a blog post with details regarding two vulnerabilities in the U-Boot bootloader. U-Boot is commonly used in embedded systems. Remember a couple of months ago, I wrote up about how to reset passwords uh, with like a packet uh, sniffing uh, device that used uh, U-Boot. But uh, these vulnerabilities, the first one does lead to an out-of-bounds write primitive, the second one to a denial of service, and both are interestingly related to IP fragments, which of course is sort of one of those problems that just doesn't seem to go away. And then a little bit uh, catching up from last week, a vulnerability in the Unisoc chipset was found by Checkpoint Research. This chipset is used by the uh, baseband uh, chip in many Android phones in particular. And well, baseband chips implement essentially the basic uh, radio uh, systems uh, in cellular phones. And that's how this potentially uh, could be exploited. Not really too much you can do about it other than uh, just, uh, well, patch as patches are being made available. 
Well, and this is it uh, for today. Thanks again for listening. And I will be leaving today for RSA in San Francisco. We'll be speaking there as part of uh, the SANS panel on uh, Wednesday around noon. So hope to see some of you there. We'll have uh, some in a Storm Center stickers with me. So just hit me up uh, if you see me in some hallway. Thanks and uh, talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.